Hey guys, my name is Limited Ward, and today I'm going to be showing you a project I've been working on in Minecraft using Redstone. That I've been working on for about a week now, on and off, and uh, it's still in its prototype stages, yet I wanted to show it to you because I thought it was pretty clever, and um, hopefully you guys will enjoy it, because uh, I certainly uh, was amazed that it actually worked, so... Um, what we have here is a redstone display with, uh, there was one pixel that had to be cut out because I didn't pre-plan the, uh, amount of space I would need for the, uh, circuitry, which I probably could have made a little bit, um, more compact, but oh well. Uh, it's a, it's a pretty standard redstone display. This is not the thing that I'm going to be showing to you today because there's tons of tutorials online on how to make this. Um, what I am going to be showing you is this right here. This is a 4x4 touchpad uh, sensor. So it's, it's sort of like a touch screen within Minecraft. Um, and essentially what it does is it takes your movements and your location, and it can track your location on the screen filled with pixels. Now, you may be wondering, Okay, wait a second. This screen right here is 7x7. Seven seven. So how would you get uh, with a 4x4 four four display, 4x4 uh, four four, uh, touchpad, without any um, call it pressure plates, how, how would you possibly track a player's location on a screen size that big? Well, the answer is right here. There are pressure plates all along here. And if I were to place uh, two wolves, one in each, and then I provoke one of them to attack. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Uh, okay. Um, instance kill. This now turned off. Hopefully both are now provoked to attack me. Okay, looks like they are. Okay, so now I simply close off the top. And now all of a sudden you'll see that they are tracking my location. Oh, this one's gotten confused. They do that sometimes. Okay, so what's happening is uh, you can see as I'm moving across uh, this platform... Uh, the pixels are also um, moving with me, and so there's a little bit of lag time, but it's it's decent. It's decent, um, and but that's just because of the uh, recording. And um, so what it basically is is that the wolves instant kill. Turn that on. Just gotta kill off these wolves. Which I feel kind of bad doing, but um, now now you um, the wolves are moving on an x and y axis. So this wolf is moving on the y axis. This wolf is moving on the x axis, and uh, the uh, the key to it is that I'm separating the signals. And then I'm combining them at the end over here. However, this still doesn't explain what these do right here. Uh, and the answer to uh, what these circuits right here and here are for is that... Um, uh, let me give a quick demonstration. If I drop redstone onto there and then redstone onto this pressure plate, you'll see it'll uh, place the cursor up at the top left corner. However, if I were to... Uh, place uh, two redstone pieces down, one here, one here, and then another one right here on the y-axis, uh, then you'll see that it has moved across one pixel. So what I've done with these circuits is I basically made it so that way uh, it can track a player's location not only on a block but also in between two blocks. And uh, by utilizing this system, I was able to achieve Accurate, uh, uh, accurate measurements uh, and tracking of a player's 
position of up to one ninth of a block. So if you were to split up the block, which this is convenient, into nine separate pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, I was able to successfully be able to track uh, you, the, the player's position on this wireless system uh, through separating the signals and using the wolves. And so uh, uh, I have to give a big thanks to uh, AC Tennis for giving me the idea to um, use wolves in uh, my design because he uh, posted a video, which I can leave in the, in the description of, of this um, video, of a wolf-powered Guitar Hero game. Though he never, he never uh, used the wolves uh, in two directions like this. He only, had it he only had the wolves moving in one direction. However, I said, why can't I just do it in two directions? And then the other person who uh, someone inspired me to do this was um, Seth Bling for his uh, Kinect uh, controller within Minecraft. So, um, it, it was... Uh, it's 7 o'clock. It was a bit tricky trying to figure out how this works. However, uh, it's very simple, really. Uh, let's say you have these two inputs right here. Uh, I got a text. Um... When you, if you were to input input A, it would give you output A. If you were to input B, you get output B. However, if you were to put inputs A and B set to true, it'll output C. So it's sort of like a um. A partial half adder with a carry out. So, so it's it's um. It, it's a lot like a half adder, except you you also have keep the signals separated. So, I mean, if you don't know much about redstone or about uh, how computers work, then you probably wouldn't understand that um. Analogy, I suppose. But um. Other than that. Uh, if you have any questions about the design, feel free to leave a comment and uh, be sure to like and subscribe. So thank you very much for watching.